Hello, my dear students. Uh, today I will be explaining uh, how to draw SFT and BMT for an overhanging beam when it is subjected to different types of uh, loading. Okay, let us take this example. Um, uh, shear, draw shear force and bending moment diagram for the beam shown in figure. Okay, see here you can see the support. Supports are there at A and E, and this portion is extended beyond the support. That's why this is an overhanging beam. So now reactions are developed at A and E. So this is R A and this is R E. Okay, uh, so what is the first step? Let us take uh, vertical forces equal to zero. So upward forces. Positive and downward force is negative. So Ra plus Re, then consider all the downward forces above the beam, whatever acting, all are acting in the downward direction. So Ra plus Re minus this is inclined load um, converted to um, uh, point load. How we can calculate? Con convert 20 sine uh, 30. Okay, so minus 20 sine 30. Then this you cannot consider because here we are considering only forces. Okay, then this U V L convert into point load. How it is area of the triangle that is half into base is 1.5 U into height is 10 minus this is U D L 6 into 1.5. Okay, so you get R A plus R B is equal to 26.5. Then take moment about uh, any direction you can take about A or E. I'll take moment about A. Okay, so how you can calculate uh, moment about A. So I'll start from here so this is acting like this that is anti-clockwise direction so minus re into full distance 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 6 okay minus re into 6 then this consider this this is acting in this direction so it will move like this so that is clockwise direction so plus half into 1.5 into 10 into now you have uh, crossing from here you are moving from here to here so that is one third okay one third of 1.5 plus this 4.5 you understood no you are moving from here to this side this is only one side h so 1.5 times of 1.5 plus you have to add this 4.5 okay then uh, this uh, 24 this is acting like this direction that is uh, anti-clockwise direction so it is minus 24 then plus this is acting like this so that is clockwise direction so plus 20 sine 30 into 1.5 then one more udl is there here that is what it is again acting like this direction clockwise so plus 6 into 1.5 into half of 1.5 that is 0.7 5 then plus all this that is uh, 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 that is 6 okay so when you simplify this you get re is equal to 14.88 and ra is equal to 11.62 okay this is the first step after that you have to calculate the shear force um, at different points so let us uh, take uh, find the shear force at f what is that shear force at f is equal to zero here there is no loading okay next shear force right to e what is that six into 1.5 right side downward that is plus so plus six into 1.5 is equal to nine kilonewton then shear force at e so here there will be r e okay shear force at e is uh, till here that is uh, 9 so 9 minus re because right side upward that is negative so minus re so re is what re is equal to 14.88 so this re is 14.88 substitute that so you get um, shear force at e is equal to minus 5.88 next shear force just 
is right to D. What is that? Minus 5.88 till here. Minus 5.88 plus right side downward plus plus half into 10 into 1.5 okay so you get 1.62 because this is intensity you have to convert into load so that is uh, half area of the triangle so you get 1.62 then at D, it is no loading here. So, the at uh, uh, D also, it remains same, 1.62 only. Then right to C also, there is no loading. This you cannot consider. This is moment. So, at right to C also, it is 1.62 only. Then at C also, 1.62. Then right to B, that is also 1.62. Then at B, that is 1.62. Then right side downward plus plus 20 sin 30 okay so that is 11.62 then uh, right to a that is same 11.62 then at a 11.62 that is always equal to r a okay this is your force calculation then we'll calculate bending moment how to do bending moment calculation at f this says bending moment is equal to zero then at e till here you have to consider now what is is that down this is moving like this that is minus so minus 6 into 1.5 into half of 1.5 that is um, 0.75 so 6 into 1.5 into 0.75 you get minus 6.75 direction is like this that's why minus then pending moment at D. Now till here you have to calculate what is that. Now this is there here. This is moving like this direction. So that is plus. So Re into 1.5 till here. Re into 1.5 minus this is moving like this. That's why minus minus half into 1.5 into 10 into one third of 1.5. Okay. Then minus 6 into 1.5 into half of 1.5 is 0 0.75 plus 1.5 because still d we are considering okay so equal to minus 1.68 kilonewton meter then now here couple is acting here so you have to consider between b and c what is that till here you have to consider now between c means <coughs> till c you have to consider what is that r e into 3 it is moving like this plus re into 3 minus half into 1.5 into 10 into one third of 1.5 plus 1.5 okay till c we have to consider then minus 6 into 1.5 into half of 1.5 is 0.75 plus this 1.5 plus 1.5 3 okay so you get this answer next at c you have to calculate at c is what till here what you got at between d and c same thing minus 4.11 plus 24 y this is plus you can see from the right side the direction is like this so from the right side this is direction is uh, anti-clockwise it's moving in anti-clockwise direction that symbol is uh, plus sign, uh, sign convention is plus so plus 24 okay this is at c so till between c and d you have to consider only till c but at c you have to consider that moment okay so that is 19.89 then bending moment at b that is uh, um, here this point till here you have to consider now what is that uh, r e into uh, plus r e plus r e into 4.5 minus half into 1.5 into 10 into one third of 1.5 plus 3 this um, till b it is plus 3 1.5 plus 1.5 then minus 6 into 1.5 into half of 1.5 is 0 0.75 till b we are considering so that is uh, 4.5 this distance 4.5 then plus 24 okay this is moving like this direction so plus 24 then at a obviously you have to get zero but you have to write the equation so how you can write re into 6 full this distance then minus half into 1.5 into 10 into one third of 1.5 plus 4.5 okay then minus 
<coughs> this 6 6 into 1.5 into half of 1.5 that is 0.75 plus this 6 okay then this is uh, 24 is there plus 24 minus 20 sine 30 this is acting like this minus 20 sine 30 into 1.5 5 okay so this is a bending moment calculation now you draw <coughs> shear force and bending moment diagram or you can draw at f it is 0 then right to e it is plus 9 so that is why 9 above the line then at e it is 5.88 so minus 5.88 so uh, this is uh, uh, below the line then uh, right to d is 1.62 plus but this is uh, parabolic curve so show it in the curve shape then at d also um, it is uh, same uh, 1.62 then uh, c also it is right to c also it is same because no loading and so at c also it is same 1.62 right to b also it is 1.62 2 till here it is 1.62 at b it is increasing to 11.62 here okay so that's why this is shown like this then again it is a bit a right to a is 11.62 and at a is 11.62 okay uh, say so this is plus this is minus uh, then uh, draw the bending moment diagram this is 0 at f 0 at e it is minus 6.75 so and the shape is curve this is uh, parabolic curve okay mm, this is uh, this is parabolic curve and uh, 6.75 uh, then uh, at uh, it is 6.75 then at d it is again uh, 1.68 show this curve this is cubic parabolic <coughs> okay this is uh, cubic parabolic because it is uvl then um, here it is um, uh, uh, right to uh, I mean between C and D it is minus 4.11 so it has to come <coughs> here 4.11 then at C it is increased to plus 19.89 so above the line and uh, then um, this is uh, at B it is 17.46 down <coughs> decreasing then at A it is 0 okay then um, uh, see this below the line is minus above the line is plus so here you can see minus sign minus and this is plus so where will be the maximum bending moment here where shear force changes its sign that will be maximum bending moment shear force changes its sign here so there will be maximum bending moment here you can see this but <clears throat> this maximum bending moment is now negative that is 6.75 okay uh, only uh, one point and here also you can see that uh, uh, shear force changes its sign here also minus to plus this will be uh, here also that will be maximum bending moment okay um, then uh, uh, next uh, shear for bending moment uh, where there is a point of contraflexure here where bending moment changes its sign there will be a point of contraflexure bending moment changes its sign here that is this point so that is uh, 3 meter from A okay point of contraflexure lies at a distance of 3 meter from A directly you can drag this is not uh, occurring in between the any points this is exactly at some point so directly you can take this distance okay i hope all of you understood if you have any difficulties we can discuss in the class thank you